Welcome to TMG Test Equipment's introduction to the Cat4 and Jenny4 pipe and cable locator from radio detection. Throughout this video, we will be covering an overview of the Cat4 and Jenny, what accessories come with the kit, the main features of the Cat4 receiver and Jenny4 transmitter, and a product demonstration overview. When reducing utility strikes, it's important to remember the following. Ensure operators use the best available technology. Make sure operators have the correct training and safety management skills to locate and mark buried utilities. And remember to influence on-site behaviors to ensure best practices on every site every day. The CAF4 and Jenny is a cable avoidance tool. It identifies a number of active signals including power and radio. The display screen provides a peak signal indicator which shows you when the signal is getting stronger or weaker. The CAF4 provides depth when used with the 33 kHz 1 watt Jenny transmitter. It is easy to use and gives you reliable results and is widely used in a number of industries. The CAF4 and Jenny4 basically tells you where not to dig. Apart from the soft carry bag and the CAT4 receiver, the transmitter's bottom opens up to reveal the following accessories that come with your CAT4 and Jenny kit. Direct connection leads for connecting directly to a service. A ground spike which is used in conjunction with the black direct connection lead. And a magnet to be used in conjunction with the red direct connection lead when there is nothing else metallic to clip onto. The Jenny transmitter has the following features. A loudspeaker, a signal boost button which increases the output signal by a factor of 10 enabling operators to locate utilities deeper and over greater distances. There is an on off button which can also be used to boost the sound of the speaker. Between the signal boost button and on off button is an LED low battery indicator. And finally, there is an accessory socket for plugging in the direct connection leads or a number of other accessories. The CAT receiver has the following features. The main selector switch used for selecting through the different locating modes which are the power signal locating setting, the radio signal locating setting, a power and radio setting also known as avoidance mode which identifies power and radio simultaneously and the Jenny setting for when you are using the CAT4 receiver and the Jetty transmitter together. There is also a sensitivity control knob which allows you to increase or decrease the output signal of the CAT4 receiver. When using the CAT4 in a noisy environment, the speaker can be detached and held close to the ear. Located on top of the CAT4 receiver, is a high contrast display screen and depth button. Below the handle you will find the on off trigger which is held down while in use. The Jenny transmitter uses four D cell batteries. A small coin can be used to unlatch the battery door. The CAT receiver uses two D cell batteries. Again a small coin can be used to unlatch the battery door. Be sure to remember to place the coin between the dark gray and yellow points on the door and not behind one of the two yellow flaps. Just above the battery is a USB data connection jack which is used to access the CAT management software for logging results and activating self-test features. Cable locators are not designed to find cables. They're designed to find magnetic fields. There are two methods of signal detection, passive mode and active mode. Using these methods, there are a number of techniques available for locating unknown lines in an area. Use of these techniques are particularly important before digging in order to avoid damage to a buried line. Passive locating is when you use the cat on its own in power, radio, or avoidance, which locates power and radio simultaneously. The receiver's power and radio passive modes are used to search an area of unknown power cables and other lines. Active locating 
is would you use the cat receiver and Jenny transmitter together. This mode enables the Jenny transmitter signal to be traced by the cat 4 receiver. While holding down the on-off trigger, place the receiver near the ground with the blade vertical. Rotate the receiver and stop at the position of maximum response. While doing so, start off with the gain control knob at its lowest signal output level. Then work the gain up slowly to provide an adequate peak signal trace. Continue to hold down the on-off trigger. Move the receiver slowly from side to side to define the exact position of the peak response. The receiver blade should now be over the target line and at the right angle to it. Following the same side to side motion technique, you can now carry out your passive locating. Mark the ground and continue down the peak signal path. Utilize a gain control knob to boost the signal when needed. The radio mode detects very low frequency energy radiated by buried cables and other lines. Radio signals may not be present in some locations. The radio mode is most useful when locating buried lines, in particularly long distance telephone lines and other lines not radiating a power signal. You should always use both power and radio settings, never rely on just one. In active mode, you can use a transmitter to induce a signal into a line directly below it. This is called induction. Its efficiency is poor on deep targets. Generally, induction is only useful at depths down to 2 meters. The boost function on the Jenny should only be used when the signal received is weak. Always use standard signal output level that provides an adequate trace signal. This saves battery power and reduces the effects of coupling to other lines. Once the Jenny has located a signal, you can now use the CAF4 receiver to follow the path of the service. Be sure to start 5 to 10 paces away from the Jenny, otherwise the CAT receiver may start receiving readings off the Jenny itself and not the service underground, which the Jenny is emitting the signal through. When you are locating in active mode using the CAF4 receiver and Jenny transmitter together, you can locate approximate depth of the service by touching the blade of the CAT4 receiver to the ground and pressing the depth button. Suitable for use in continuous trace wire, metallic water and gas distribution systems, telecom wires, and other access points, you will always get the best signal strength using the direct connection method. Plug the direct connection leads into the transmitter's accessory socket and the red clip onto the target line. If necessary, clean off any paint, rust, or scale to ensure a good connection. Now clip the ground cable to the ground spike a few paces away, preferably at a right angle to the probable route of the target line. Do not attach the ground cable to any water pipe or buried line which could be carrying a signal. Remember for your safety, you must always use the CAT4 receiver to scan the ground around the area you are going to insert the ground spike to avoid hitting any shallow cables. Once again, following the proper receiver positioning and motion techniques, you can now carry out your active locating. Utilize the gain control knob to boost the signal when needed. Mark the ground and continue down the peak signal path. Some of the many other accessories available for the CAT4 and Jenny are Transmitter clamps used when direct connection isn't available, such as locating an electric line, a line in a conduit, or a heavily insulated line. Trace rods and sawns are helpful to identify the path of a non-metallic conduit and to pinpoint blockages. We hope this video introduction for the CAF4 and Jenny pipe and cable locator has helped you better understand the product. At TMG Test Equipment, we stock a substantial number of new, refurbished, and rental test equipment. We have finance options available. We offer calibration, repair of your test equipment, and offer after-sales support such as warranty, product demonstration, and seminars. Give us a call today, toll-free on 1-800-680-680, or visit our website at tmgtestequipment.com.au.